Warning, incoming goblin. Warning, incoming game. You get it, it's, it's a reboot reference. This video is sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc. With free weekly content and free shipping over $100, you can save 5% site-wide by using the promo code MTGMUDSTA. I'm also sponsored by Face to Face Games, Canada's premier Magic the Gathering store. Using the promo code MTGMUDSTA will get you 5% off site-wide, with eligible orders getting free shipping Canada-wide. If you're looking for a direct way to help the channel, please consider joining my Patreon and becoming a member of the generic Goblin Gang. Hey gang, just so you know, the Folio Portfolio number 2 is now available on Kickstarter, with sweet art like Sylvan Tudor, Chaos Warp, Bottle Gnomes, Infernal Darkness, Orcish Librarian, and Puzzle Box, there's sure to be something for everyone. It's running until November 18th at 10pm PSD, and be sure to use my affiliate link below when you pledge to back this project. Hey gang and welcome back. This game is another pre-con game, but we shifted it up from the last one. Mika is playing Jensen Carthalian, Druid Exile. Kevin is playing Shanid, Sleeper Scourge. I have decided to play Furcrag, Cunning Instigator, while Maximus has switched up the party time deck to play Brakos and Folk Hero. Mika wins the die roll and starts us off. He draws and plays a tap Frontier Bivouac. Kevin plays a Terramorphic Expanse, cracking it for a mountain and passing. I play Care Keep and tap it for a Cobalus to basic land cycle an Ash Barrens to find an island. Maximus plays a Shambling Vent, which comes in tapped, and passes. Mika plays a Smoldering Marsh, and passes. Kevin draws, and plays an Orzhov Basilica, bouncing the mountain back to hand, and passes. At his end step, he discards Belborka to hand size. I just draw, and play an island. Maximus plays a Mutavolt, and then casts a Mind Blade Render, passing a Mika. Mika has a Tap Mountain Valley come into play, and casts Explore, drawing a card, but doesn't have an extra land to play. Kevin plays a Mountain, and casts a Black Blade Reforged, passing a me. My turn has a Mountain coming in, and I cast Goblin Spymaster. Maximus plays a Plains and goes to combat, swinging the Mind Blade Render at me, and dealing one, and gets the Render trigger, drawing a card and losing a life. He then activates Mutavolt, and plays a Malakir Blood Priest, draining the table for three. He then passes, and gets a Goblin token on his end step from my Spy Master. Mika draws and plays an Exotic Orchard. He cracks the Mountain Valley, finding a Canopy Vista, and then casts Hero of Precinct 1, passing and making a Goblin. Kevin's got a Guy Reach Sanitarium as his land for turn, and taps out for a Hedron Archive. He passes, making a Goblin at the end of turn as well. I play an Island for turn, and cast Solemn Simulacrum, going to grab a Mountain. I then pass turn. Maximus draws and tries to make a deal with Kevin to trade off the goblin tokens, but Kevin declines. He goes to combat, swinging the token at me, and the Mind Blade Render at Kevin, and the Blood Priest at Mika. Kevin takes the damage while I eat the token with my Solemn, and Mika trades off his goblin for the Blood Priest. Maximus then loses one life and draws a card from the Render trigger, and plays a Plains. He then casts his commander, Barakos, and passes, making a goblin at the end of turn. Mika draws, but still is missing lands, and he passes, and I offer him a goblin in these trying times. Kevin draws, and plays Shanid, moving to combat after that. He swings the goblin token at Mika, who blocks the hero of Precinct 1. Kevin then passes, and gets a replacement goblin at the end of turn. I play an island in my main phase, and cast Furcrag. Moving to attacks, I swing my commander at Maximus, goading Barakos and dealing 3 commander damage. Maximus draws, and casts Folk Hero, and then plays a Swamp. He casts a Changeling Outcast, 
drawing a card from the Folk Hero, and then taps Mutavolt to activate it and gets a full party going. Moving to combat, the Mind Blade Render and Goblin go at Mika, and Barakos goes at Kevin. Barakos' trigger deals 4 to Kevin and makes Maximus 4 treasure tokens, while Mika trades off the Goblin tokens, and Kevin blocks Barakos with Shanid. Maximus then draws a card from the Render and loses a life, while Furcrag gets a counter and draws me a card. After that, Maximus cashes in some treasures to play Furge's Retribution, making a 4-4 Angel token and passing after that. He makes a Goblin token during his end step, while Mika casts a Selchai Charm to draw two and discard one. Mika draws and plays Kadama's Reach to hopefully catch up on some lands, putting a Plains into play and getting an Island to play for turn. After that, he moves to his end step and makes a Goblin token. Kevin draws and plays a Mountain. He casts Cathafed, drawing a card and losing a life off Shanid. Moving to combat, he swings his commander at me and the Goblin at Max. I take two, while Max trades the Goblin tokens. Kevin then loses two and draws two off Cathafed's triggers, and after that, passes and gets a Goblin token. I draw and overload a spectacular showdown, putting a double strike counter onto everything, and goading all the creatures. Going to combat, I swing Furcrag and the Goblin Spymaster at Mika, and the Solemn Simulacrum at Kevin. Kevin eats the Solemn with Cathafed, and Mika follows suit with the Spymaster getting blocked by the Angel token. Mika then takes the commander damage, while Kevin loses two and draws two from Cathafed seeing two creatures dying. Maximus draws and ticks up Furge's Retribution. He plays a Vault of the Archangel as his land drop, and moving to combat, swings everything at Mika, dealing him four from Barakos' trigger and making four treasures. Mika blocks Barakos with a human and a Mind Blade Render with his goblin, and Maximus then activates the Vault of the Archangel which he'd played. Responding to this, Mika casts an Echoing Truth and targets the Angel token. Maximus responds, tapping his Angel to destroy the Hero of Precinct 1, and he then gains 5 from Lifelink, while Mika takes 2, and Kevin draws 2 and loses 2 from Cathafed seeing things die. Furcrag also gets a counter, and I draw a card, and Maximus then casts a Seasoned Dungeoneer in his post-combat main phase, taking the initiative and going to find a basic land to hand. Mika draws, and just plays a Maelstrom Archangel, passing. Kevin draws for turn, and draws some more with a Faithless Looting, drawing two, and discarding two. He then plays Hero's Podium, and Makokoro before going to combat. He swings Cathafet at Maximus, and the Goblin and Shanid at Mika. Mika eats the token with his Angel, and they both then take the rest. This has Kevin gaining the initiative, and going to grab a basic. Furcrag also gets two more counters, and I draw two more cards, and with nothing else, Kevin passes. I play a Geode Ranger in my main phase, and follow up with a Desolate Lighthouse, goading all of Kevin's creatures to attack with the Geo's landfall ability. For attacks, I swing Furcrag at Kevin for 14 in the air, grabbing the initiative, and going to find a basic as well. I then pass after that. Maximus plays Stick Together in his main phase, which is basically a plague win for the board. Kevin then takes 4 and loses 4 off of Cathafed, and Maximus moves to combat. He swings Barakos at me and the rest at Mika. This has Barakos dealing 4 from the trigger and makes Max 4 treasure tokens. He then activates the Vault of the Archangel before damage to give his team lifelink. First Strike damage gives Maximus the initiative, which he then uses to put 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters onto Barakos, dealing 6 more damage to me, while Mika takes 7. After that, Maximus plays an Ash Barons, and then cashes in the last of his treasures to cast Savine's Reclamation, and brings back Malakir Blood Priest. As it enters, he gets to drain the table for 4, and he passes after that. Mika draws, and plays Jensen and follows up with Silvala, Explorer Returned, scrying one to the bottom. With that, Mika passes, and during his end step, Kevin casts Mortify and takes out Barakos. 
Kevin plays with Carrie Zev, and then casts Primeval's Glorious Rebirth. He gets back his graveyard full of creatures, but none of them have haste, so he has to pass. I draw, and play a mountain. I cast an Is It Signet, and then cast Stuffy Doll, and as it comes in, name Maximus. I then top things off by casting Blasphemous Act, which has Kevin dying from his Cathavad triggers, and Maximus takes 13 from the Stuffy Doll trigger while the board gets wiped. With nothing else, I pass turn. Maximus ventures further into the Undercity on his upkeep, which deals 5 to Mika, and takes him out. He then draws and plays a Swamp, and activates Mutavolt. He follows it up by flashing back Sabine's Reclamation, bringing back the Malakir Blood Priest and an Avon Mind Sensor, which ends up draining me for 3 from the Blood Priest trigger. With nothing else, he passes. My turn has me recasting Furcrag, and I go to combat. Max responds by desparking on it, and I then play a Clan Crafter in my post-combat main phase, and pass. Maximus gets to draw from the Undercity initiative trigger, and draws for turn, and plays a Castle Lothwain. He recasts Barakos, and then plays a regular Cohort, and goes to combat. He pokes me for 2 with the Avon Mind Sensor, and passes, while I ping him back for 1 with the Stuffy Doll at the end of turn. I draw, and cast a Crow in War, stealing Barakos with it as it enters. I then play a Loot Dispute, and take the initiative, putting 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters onto Stuffy Doll, and pass after that. Maximus draws, and plays a Dire Fleet Ravager dinging us both for a third of our life. Going to combat, he swings everything at me, and I block both parts of the irregular cohort with Barakos and Stuffy Doll. Maximus activates Bolt of the Archangel, giving his team Death Touch and Life Link. I then take four, while Max actually gains six life, and Stuffy Doll hits him for two. Barakos and the Changelings die as well, and Max then finishes the Undercity, flipping the top ten and putting Gonti into play. He gets the Gaunty trigger, taking one of my top four, and after that, passes turn. At the end of turn, I ping him with Stuffy Doll. I draw and uptick the Acro in War, and then activate Desolate Lighthouse to loot a card and hopefully find an answer. However, with nothing to stop Max's oncoming attack, I have to scoop it up, and Max wins the game. Game review time. I've been really enjoying these pre-con games. I find these recent sets have been really well balanced, and being able to play any of them against each other seems pretty good. I will say that probably the party time deck is the strongest out of the most recent ones. The synergy as soon as you have a full party is just incredible, and as you saw, Barakos just gives so much damage and ramp, my goodness. Furcrag had a lot of moving pieces that I think really wanted to work well together. The only problem was most of the big pieces that would help get you to win the game were so expensive. That being said, the expensive cards were super fun with that spectacular showdown being so good. I just wish that my opponents had bigger creatures at the time of my casting it. In comparison to his first game with this deck, Mika's 5 color Painbow deck didn't do nearly as well, and I think that's because it suffered from not having the lands that he needed. 5 colors is very greedy, and if you're missing one key color and have a handful of that color, you're really pretty much out of luck. The Mardu deck has so much card draw or card advantage. Whether you're playing Diata or Shanid, you're basically going to be able to get a couple extra cards as long as you're casting or doing stuff with legendaries.